how does emotional health affect overall health, or, or can it be the other way around as it's well? It's probably one of the, probably the most important side of the triangle <coughs> in reality. Really? Uh, you can find any people, plenty of them, uh, who actually have low back pain because of their emotional issues. You can have a lot of people have diabetes because of their emotional issues. Mm -hmm. You can have a lot of people who simply uh, cannot digest food properly because they're constantly like a knot of emotions. Because when your body thinks it's you stressed out, well, there's only two ways uh, kind of physiology works. Sympathetic, parasympathetic. Sympathetic, you fight and flight. You need to fight right now or run away. Parasympathetic, you're resting, digesting, you're healing. The biggest issue with society right now, everyone is like a nut. Yeah. Like, we like to call it, cyber tooth tiger is running after you. But you're not, you can constant run and constant fight. When you run on emotions, on, a, on a adrenaline, your body couldn't care less about digestion, new, uh, utilization of proper nutrition, about healing something, even the bad knee, for example, or restore muscles better. Your body is in a state of fight. Calm people down, body will start healing by itself with a little bit of help from professionals. Mm. There are uh, quite a few prescription drugs that deal with emotional health. What are some more natural ways to to do that without having to get the drugs? There are so many ways, okay? Um, triangle of health, you can, again, reach each side from the different side. You can use herbs, but you're kind of trying to be more chemical, okay? There are good herbs, like St. John's Wort, Valerian Root, uh, few, many others, which you can use to calm people down. But in reality, what health is? Healthy person to me, person who practically doesn't need any herbs, any vitamins, anything pain-free, good vitality, good memory. And once in a while, need a tune-up. Basically, everyone understands tune-up. Sure. Tune-up, whatever tune-up might be. If you sometimes you have a sore neck or something, or you've been exercising, or you didn't sleep well because you're traveling, or you lifted something, something unusual, go fix it up, just one visit, not a big deal. If, for example, you've been traveling, you're dehydrated, you took a plane, you didn't eat good food, you had to eat some junk, okay, obviously you have some disturbance, Tune it up. It's not a big deal. Nothing serious yet. Tune it up. Very easy thing. Couple of supplements. Maybe something seasonal. Winter time. We, we pre, Chicago is pretty pre enough north. Uh -huh. We need some vitamin D, for example. Or everyone is uh, simply <laughs> spraying viruses in you. Everyone is having snot up to the belt. You know. Yep. Um, you maybe need to boost your immunity with a little something. Little something. This should be anything major. If you're a strong enough sure. person, you just need a little boost. You need a complete recovery of your immune system. With emotions, first of all, there are plenty of reflexology points to do it, which people can do in privacy of the home. There are many techniques that people can do at home. And I'm not talking about tapping, because uh, Callahan technique, emotional freedom technique, they're good for now, just to stabilize you right now. There are things there which you can do at home which actually can get you deeper and better and easier and faster. Of course, if you know that you complete emotional breakdown, people can get depressed. People can get physically exhausted because hypothetical situation. Bad divorce, lost job, don't see kids, sleep is destroyed. Sometimes you need a professional who actually will help you rebuild, or rebuild you from scratch, including emotions. There are plenty of emotional techniques, starting from applied kinesiology techniques and all speciality kinesiologists which offshots of it. Neuroemotional technique, total body modification, Callahan's, EFT, and many, many others. The good practitioner is supposed to, first of all, know all of them, because what are all the techniques in reality? It's a key in your pocket, in your toolbox. Each patient sometimes needs something light, sometimes something heavy, sometimes something stronger. You're supposed to fix the patient and let them go. I'm a strong believer in permanent correction. I'm not one of those people who say, oh, I need to see you three times a week forever. No. No. You fix the person, you educate them how they're supposed to be healthy, and preferably kick them out of the office so they don't bother you anymore. Mm -hmm. If they need a tune-up, please come over, of course I'll help you. That's the best way. That's how holistic healers are supposed to be, in my sure. opinion.